Hey, it's frosty this morning out here. Looks like all the poor saps that are still working are going to work. Nice to be retired, I have to say. All right, right here at this covered up Axelson, I uh, hooked on to uh, the skid here with this chain. And that chain. <laughs> and I got straps. And with the chain come along, I got this uh, little machine at the door here. I'm going to warm up a little bit and I'll have this thing outside. Get around here, it's kind of a tight fit. Now it's going pretty fast. You see the plates down there? I can just light them up and, and pull and pull the thing uh, the length of that chain anywhere before I have to reset. Got a long piece of strap under the tail here. So now I gotta slide it over just a little bit, uh, bar it over and pull it, then then get it around the uh, mill here. And uh, once this is out, it's going to be just a lot easier. Now I get these toolboxes uh, moved out, and uh, then I got to get this jig bore over there. I'll move the heater and stuff, and uh, kind of in that corner. Then that axle center will sit in here real nice, and I'll still have room for that bench there. It looks like. And rearrange this stuff a little bit. I don't think it'll be okay. This mill here will go into the back corner where that sun and honing machine is. It's, uh, the mill is sitting here because this is the first uh, of the rusted up machines that I did. And uh, I moved it from outside, you know, the rough stuff, cleaning it up like that, um, that drill press. Uh, did that outside, then got it in here and uh, finished it up. So that thing's going to go in that corner, and that'll, that'll be a lot better, because it's not good to have that by that door. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. I will be back, and hopefully I'll have that uh, little monarch sitting outside. Okay, hope you're all having a good day. All right, got some smoother action going here. Check this out. See, I got the uh, uh, chain come along. <laughs> Pretty easy. I gotta find a plate for that right side there. Yeah, we got one here. Two of them. Something like that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's staying on that pad good. Yeah, coming right along. Okay, I gotta lift that end up, and it's almost officially out the door. <laughs> okay, I'll be back here. Come on. Hey, got a good day going out here. That is a really big motor back there. 
it's only three horsepower but it's the size of a 50 horsepower motor <laughs> you can kind of see the guts here pretty good out out in the uh, uh, outside here the light's probably good enough the big old uh well, my rheostats and the big DC motor there. You can see the brush holders. Take a look at the commutator. It's big. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to be pulling the generator out of this after a while. But this is where it is now. It is out the door and I'm gonna park it right here got a spot cleared for it got everything out of the way it's gonna be easier from this point <laughs> so I still got stuff to shuffle around I got to get the jig bore over there and uh, I'm gonna use the uh, uh, mill here to pull uh, the later model Monarch out and uh, that'll end up over there on that wall and I'll pull it out a little bit then I'll use this Monarch to pull out the uh, cutter grinder and uh, then I'll use uh, the mill to pull the uh, the sun and hot out. That's not very heavy, but it's it's kind of an awkward, weird thing. Looking good. Now the worst machines to move you have to be really careful with is like this jig bore here. This thing weighs four thousand pounds, and this is a number two, and it's got a real narrow base. The number threes they put a, a, a larger base on it, and it's eight feet tall. And it's got the uh, motor up here too, see? And sometimes you move these, it's good to take the whole drive and that motor off and uh, get the weight down. But I'll be okay. This, this is a machine that's dangerous on skates. And to move it, um, the factory intended it to be uh, lifted by a hook from the very top. So it's really risky to <laughs> move that one. And also, this uh, out here. Yeah, I got another machine. That's, uh, this old saw is going to get rebuilt. Um, this Axelson. Um, one of the things that happens is they like to fall over. Because you can see the motors up here got a direct drive motor to the uh, headstock and uh, no motor down in the base so it's it's very very top heavy and you can see how narrow the base is it, it's terrible so I'm gonna have to take extra caution moving that I mean very very carefully and uh, uh, or it could tip over and uh, knock down the fence here or if the, if the thing tipped over in the in the doorway here it knocked the entire garage down which i think might be leaning a little bit i don't know <laughs> always, always something but uh i actually had a uh, a, a really big lathe in this garage before and uh um, so I'm, I'm kind of used to doing this. The, uh, the challenge uh, on bad concrete <laughs> is, uh, is really something. But I found these plates, and especially having some thinner and some thick ones, I can get over these really bad bumps. That threshold is pretty, pretty tough. I'm going to be grinding on this one here because it keeps raising. This this <laughs> seems to raise out here every year and I keep uh, grinding it down. And it's like a, a really big hole here. I mean, that's a half inch deep. 
So I gotta be careful getting that uh, Axelson through this door. And uh, I don't wanna knock the building down. But, you know, it, it's not that hard to move this stuff. And I'll tell you, these little monarchs are very easy to move. Um, let's see, find a, a little bar or something here. Probably everything's outside. Here's one. It's still on the plates here. I think this will do it. Get under that. Yeah. Unless it's hung up. See, it, it moves right along. That other bar works a lot better. Yeah. There we go. I think I'm going to have to reposition something up front. No, it's gone. <laughs> but uh, now that I got it here, I'm going to hook this up and uh, use uh, the chain come along. So uh, I'll uh, turn the camera back on when I'm pulling other machines. Might be interesting. Okay, you have a good day. I'll be back. Hey, uh, just surveying the damage here. I'm, uh, you know, figuring out the plan as I go, and uh, it's it's looking pretty good. The uh, object, of course, is getting this axle soon down there and into that door, and. Uh, it's looking pretty doable. Now this is kind of a difficult machine to move and I'm going to uh, basically um, use one pallet jack under the front of it. I was going to use two, but that's too risky. I'm just going to put a pallet jack under this in here. I'm going to lag and strap this thing down good and uh, to that uh, wood pallet. And then I'm going to put a pallet jack in this end <clears throat> and I'm going to drag that in right on the ground. I'm not going to take any chances for rollers. And it's the hard way, but I think it's the safest way to do it. And I'm going to use the milling machine again, way, way back there, and uh, hook straps up to it and use the... Uh, use this to help pull that axle in. And uh, if it doesn't do it, I have a chain fall that will, that I can use. Really long uh, uh, chain on that. So it's going in the hard way. <laughs> and what I'm going to do here, all I got to do, see, I got this out for it. I'm just going to push it. Uh, back in there and I'm going to set it up on aluminum blocks so it's easy to pull back out and deal with. And I got to pull that motor generator out as uh, one of the first projects uh, when I get the axle sent in there. And I'm kind of relieved to have that in case I have to do any of those components. Yeah, looking real good. Yeah, this is going to get a get it going over we'll go through everything motor generator drive yeah this one has been very reliable very good okay well I'll get this video loaded and um, we'll start again tomorrow